Hello, and welcome back to Terraria with Brian. I have done a number of things since the last time you saw me. Let's see, let's zoom out on the map. I've done a bit of mapping. Uh, let's see, I think this is new. I mapped out a couple more corruption areas over here. I connected up the what's connected between this part and this part. I did a little bit of exploration over here. And that might be it on this side. Can't remember. I might have done this new as well. Uh, so that was fun. Lit up a little bit more caves, but mostly just finding places that I've already lit up. And then another thing that I spent time on is, you'll notice, there's a lot of things missing here. Because I have moved them up here. It's not completely done, but it's like 95% done at this point. Uh, my new storage area. I moved my bed and some of the essential crafting stuff over here as well. Um, but the way that it's organized, some of the lesser things that I don't go after all that often, things like weapons. We've got shooting weapons and boomerang weapons and magical weapons and sword-like weapons over here. Uh, tools and accessories uh, we've got over here. The pillar represents banners, uh, things that kind of like hang from the ceiling. This colorful chest has the colorful dyes in it. The cross above this has tombstones. The tree in the living wood chest has the living wood stuff. It has the beehive stuff and the bone stuff, basically all the wands. Uh, silk is what you use to make banners of different colors. And so I've got cobwebs and silk over here. That's a piece of crazy furniture from the dungeon. And so we've got crazy furniture and paintings and hanging stuff. This is kind of like a miscellaneous chest that I still haven't organized yet. Down here, I've got potion-y stuff, and so I've got the healing potions and the various made potions. Uh, along the bottom here, you see there's hellstone, and so all the good ores are in here. There is platinum, and so the lesser ores are down here. Uh, there's stone, there's snow, there's ice, there's dirt. And then we've got some topaz and amethyst, so we've got all the gems up here. We've got dart traps, so of course the red wire stuff is in here. Another potion thing, I'm not sure how to color it, that's a potion ingredients. Wasn't sure of a better way to kind of signify that. Got some ropes above this chest, so that's where the ropes are stored. And, uh, yeah, glow sticks, I'm not sure what to put for that. And then finally I've got just a couple of miscellaneous chests that kind of hold everything else that I kind of dump things off in uh, over by the bed. But, at least for storage, uh, I've kind of improved things there. I still need to build new NPC housing. I have had an idea. Uh, this was an idea that I just saw with some other photos of other people's bases. Uh, but one is to do kind of like themed rooms. Like have a kind of treehouse room and a jungle room and a corruption-y looking room and obsidian kind of room uh, for the different NPCs. And then I just have to figure out maybe a room filled with ores for the merchant or something. And whatever's the most colorful room could be the painter maybe. I don't know, I'll have to think about it, but I think basically I'm gonna build a bunch of NPC houses with some different furniture in them and try to make them kind of different themes. But in any case, that's one of the things I need to do that's kind of more aesthetic that I wanna do off camera. The one thing I would like to do on camera uh, is to get prepared to fight the wall of flesh. And to do that, we're gonna need kind of like a big flat open space in the underworld. And so I'm gonna head down there and while I'm at it, I've been recording Terraria episodes like way ahead of time. I'm more than a week ahead at this point, and the reason is because I'm gonna be leaving for Minecon in a few days. Uh, but by the time you're watching this, it's probably like October 30th or 32nd, depending upon how the schedule is working out. And so I'm probably gonna start doing some shorter episodes of Terraria or skipping some days of Terraria uh, with the expectation that I will have some vlogs or some other Minecon mine video content of some sort going up on the channel. Uh, yeah, I really haven't had much Minecraft content of late, uh, which is a shame. Uh, but I was really hoping that 1.7 was going to come out sooner. I imagine now at this point that maybe it's going to come out and they'll announce it at Minecon. Maybe? I don't know if they'll do that or not. But in any case, uh, for those of you who've been wondering either about Minecraft content or just about kind of like channel content while I'm away at Minecon. 
those are kind of my plans now that it's it's still like 10 days away. What is today, the 20th? I've forgotten already. But in any case, here we are down in the underworld. And if you're going to, let me make sure, yeah, let's make sure we put on the lava charm. That is important. And I think let's have that in the four slot because that's pretty useful. So that hits for 43. Yeah, that's a good thing to have in the four slot. Uh, so, if you're gonna fight the Wall of Flesh, basically, the way he works is he is a big, gigantic wall that moves across the screen, left to right, uh, if you're on the left-hand side of the map. And, yeah, attacks you with, like, a gazillion different things. I didn't bring blocks, did I? That was not smart. That's okay, we can mine up some ash blocks and just use them for the moment. Um... So the Wall of Flesh is just like a big wall, you cannot penetrate him, so he's just going to be pushing you to the right, pushing you to the right, and you basically just have to attack him continually. And so what you need, like so many boss battles, both in this game and in Minecraft, what you need to have a successful fight is good terrain. And so the best terrain to fight the Wall of Flesh is just a big, long hallway that is reasonably tall, so that you have room to maneuver up and down, uh, but that, that has... You know, a big, long floor that's nice and flat that you can kind of walk across. And some people make the hallway out of Hellstone Ore, because then you can use dynamite against the Wall of Flesh, uh, because Hellstone Ore is strong enough to withstand dynamite, and so you keep the same bridge. I'm not going to do that right off the bat, uh, but if we try fighting the Wall of Flesh and fail miserably, uh, I may switch to doing that. I'm curious... I can't imagine that ice blocks would, like, melt in the underworld or anything crazy like that, but I don't know that I've tried placing ice blocks, so let's just see if I start placing some ice down. Oh, crap, 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 crap! <laughs> so one thing about ice blocks is they're slippery, so that probably makes them not the best thing to use down here. I'm going to continue using them for the moment anyway. Let's go ahead and drain out some of this lava. For the most part, right now, I'm less worried about building a bridge and more worried about... Uh, just kind of clearing out some of the ash and hellstone that's going to be in the way and lava uh, and trying to kind of just open up this whole area uh, because it's going to take some time and yeah and in the meantime I guess I haven't really been back down here very much now that I've got the new uh, I think it's called molten armor basically this armor set that I made out of the uh, hellstone materials and so, this gives me even more points of protection than I used to have with my previous armor sets. So I'm not too worried about anything killing me down here. As long as I don't get overwhelmed by a number of demons at a time. I think they're the only guys that are somehow, like, end up in lava without a way back out. Unless one of those things happens, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay alive. Let's see, how much... Maybe I'm doing this all too low. Maybe I should be higher up towards the ceiling. Because these buildings are going to be kind of a pain in the neck to try to tear down. The other thing that I need to be careful of... I can't remember if we talked about it before. The way that you summon the Wall of Flesh, the final pre-hard mode boss, is you throw a Guide Voodoo Doll into the lava. And Guide Voodoo Dolls are some of the drops uh, by some of these demons that just happen to be, like, carrying around uh, voodoo dolls for whatever reason. Because, hey, if I were a demon in the underworld, I would definitely be carrying around a voodoo doll. Makes perfect sense. And, yeah, and so the thing that I need to be careful about is not to accidentally kill one of those bad guys while he's above the lava and have his voodoo doll just fall into the lava. Because if that were to happen, then we will inadvertently summon the Wall of Flesh, and then we will soon be dead, <laughs> because I'm not ready to fight him yet. And so we're going to try not to do that. So that's the other way that I could die down here if I'm not careful. The good news is I'm pretty sure I remembered, yes, to put away my gold before I came down here. And so even if we did die, we wouldn't lose all that much stuff. Because it's Terraria, and when you die, all you lose is you drop your gold. At least with the softcore character. And if you're not playing softcore, then you're much better than me. I tried playing in 1.1. There's three different levels of kind of difficulty that you can do when you actually create your character. 
They're called softcore, medium core, and hardcore. Uh, with a medium core character, you not only drop your money, but you also drop your items on the ground when you die. So it's more like Minecraft. And with a hardcore character, just like Minecraft, uh, you delete the world when you die. And so, yes, those are not for the faint of heart. And even medium core in this game, there are so many unique items uh, that you're only going to get uh, one of, or have to collect tons and tons of materials to collect more than one of, that when you drop all your items in medium core, like if they're not in a place that's easy to retrieve, like you might not even have another good set of weapons and armor to go and get them, it can be very frustrating. So definitely if you're new to the game, create a soft core character to get things started. And with that, I don't know that I have anything else that's going to be good for long-running commentary as I just try to build a bridge and try to start flattening out a bit of this area or at least get all the lava covered up and get a sense of what all is down here. So I will probably make a cut and bring you guys back in if interesting things happen. All right, so here's a danger. There is a guide voodoo doll with this demon, and so I want to make sure I don't accidentally drop this demon in the lava. Alright, but I can catch it, and we're over the lava, and so, or we're in the bridge over the lava, and so we're okay. Alright, so, check out the mini-map I have built. Actually, let me put, oh, I guess there's, I don't need any light up there. Alright, I have built this which is fairly long. It doesn't give me as much vertical maneuverability and headroom as I would like, uh, but without tearing down a whole lot of structures, this is at least a nice long corridor that I can move up and down somewhat in and be able to take on the wall of flesh. Basically, like I said, he just keeps moving towards you, moving to the right, moving to the right, moving to the right. And so the important thing in this fight, since you can't like move through him, if he ends up touching you, you're basically dead, uh, is to be able to have lots of runway to kind of back off. And so if I start the fight somewhere around here, then basically one, two, three, four, five, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, I've got like 30 seconds. That's if I were sprinting away from him at top speed. Obviously, I'll be facing him most of the time and just trying to kind of back off. So I'll probably have a minute's worth of runway to fight him. He has like 8,000 hit points or something, I think. I've never fought him before. I've seen other people fight him on video, and I also don't know if he's changed since the last version of Terraria. But I think this might be sufficiently well prepared in terms of a runway. So I think we'll call that good for today. And I'm going to go back to work on some building or some other stuff. And zing! 